We're discussing soybean, and uh, we always tell you the price of soybean uh, during the global grains uh, segment of this program. But let's discuss it now with Miriam Ode. Miriam Ode is an analyst with Financial Derivatives Company. Hi, Miriam. Uh, good afternoon. So uh, tell us what's going on with this. Uh, it has remained uh, at a three-year low of $11.48 for a bushel. Uh, are we using more of it since it's uh, now tapering in price? Good afternoon, Amy. Thank you for having me. So um, the reason why we're seeing this decline in the global price of soybean is mainly because of increased production in regions like the US, Argentina, Brazil, and also because of slowing demand concerns in China, which is actually the largest consumer of the commodity, accounting for about 60% of total soybean trade. So while on one hand, we're seeing um, increased supply levels from um, Brazil, the U.S. and Argentina, which are actually the top producing, producers of the commodity. We're seeing lower demand globally. Um, so this is why we're seeing lower prices um, lower prices of the commodity. But interestingly, in the domestic markets, we're seeing the price of soybeans actually climb. And this is because um, the price of soybean in Nigeria is influenced by various factors um, that, it, uh, that is excluding the global price of soybean. Factors such as um, cross-elasticity effects, because more consumers are switching towards um, more healthy alternatives, which soybean provides, and it also has a high um, protein content. And also, um, um, we're seeing more demand in Nigeria, also because of um, the, the exchange rate devaluation, which is making Nigeria's soybean exports more competitive in international markets. And we're seeing higher demand um, um, internationally. So while we're seeing higher demand domestically, we're also seeing higher demand internationally. And this is what's adding um, additional pressure or putting uh, placing an additional pressure on Nigeria's soybean price. All right, Miriam, thank you so much uh, for that uh, on soybeans. Now let's